The exit polls show Latinos were a big reason that President Obama was reelected. The Latino community is now a political force to be reckoned with, and Senator-elect Tim Kaine realized that on the first day of his election for Senate. Andy Fox is here on the impact of Latinos in this year's election. Andy? Tom, there is no doubt this was a big headline in the election. Tim Kaine says he won in part because he connected with the Latino community. Part of Tim Kaine's story is that between the fall of 1980 and the spring of 1981, Kaine did missionary work in Honduras, working with children in schools. Kaine was able to use that personal experience and his ability to speak Spanish to reach out to potential voters. Somos Virginianos todos. That is Spanish for it's a great night to be a Virginian. And candidate Tim Kaine spoke Spanish early and often every day on the campaign trail. I speak Spanish pretty much every day now because the population of Latinos in Virginia, all over Virginia, has grown so significantly. Kane targeted voters like Ermina Escobar, scooching up there in her beach chair. She sits in because she stood in line to vote four hours at Green Run High School. I have family, I have grandkids. Uh, the future of my grandkids is in, in here. And, um, my father taught me that it was very important to get involved. Latinos like Escobar made a huge difference in the election. Exit polls showed they voted for President Obama 71% to Mitt Romney's 27%. Did you want to speak directly to people in the way that's, that's most persuasive? Um, we decided early in the campaign that we would do some pretty extensive outreach directly to the approximately 200,000 registered Latino voters in Virginia. And if they went to Kane's campaign website, they would perfectly understand everything Kane stands for because it's all right there in Spanish. Whether it was on radio, TV, ads, newspapers to Latino voters. How important was Spanish to Kane? Well, on election day, he did 20 radio interviews, five of them on Spanish-only radio stations. People appreciate you asking for their support and asking directly in the way that's the most effective and that's the most likely to be persuasive. They appreciate that, too. And it's a strategy that paid off and he won nationally based on polling that most Latinos, based nationally on polls, are firmly in support of Democratic candidates. It is clear on this day after the election, there are conversations among Republican operatives on how to reach out and touch Latino voters and to give them something to vote for. I'm Andy Fox, 10 on your side.